Chapter 11 The Artists of Mithila Madhubani Paintings Theme Art and Culture India has a rich tradition of folk art Folk art paintings include the worldly art of Gujarat Patachitra paintings from Odisha the Nirmal paintings of Andhra Pradesh and other such folk art forms Madhubani painting also referred to as mithila art as it flourishes in the mithila region of bihar is characterized by line drawings filled in by bright colors and contrasts or patterns find out more about the art form from this interview with a folk artist you must have drawn and scribbled on walls with pencils or crayons especially when no one was looking well humans in very ancient times began painting the same way using colors from plants and flowers to paint on cave walls and floors and they painted so beautifully that the tradition of painting was kept alive sometimes by kings and rich nobles more often by the common people themselves in their own communities these styles of painting have come down the generations and have become a part of the folk art of our country india is like a 32 lakhs 80483 square kilometer large museum with many art galleries some natural some man made some ancient some modern every region has its own school of art its traditions of painting each has precious secrets handed down from master to pupil mother to daughter one generation to the next one such school is the mithila school of art also known as madhubani paintings down the lanes of modern mithila artists painstakingly create one masterpiece after another drawing tinting coloring on walls and flowers in today more often than not on handmade paper almost everyone in mithila knows this traditional art but some have given special gift for it a gifted artist in the mithila tradition shashikala devi shares the colorful secrets of mithila with the students from many schools and colleges the interviewer Swapna Datta joined one such group of enthusiastic learners. Swapna, did you learn your art anywhere in particular? Shashikala Devi, no. There was no question of that. It's the traditional art of the Kayasthas of Mithila. I watched my mother, grandmother and aunt doing it. That's how I learned it. Swapna, Did they know it then all the kayasthas of Mithila Shashikala Devi Shashikala Devi yes after a fashion some have a special gift for it though a gifted hand is what gives Mithila art that special touch the paintings are drawn with very fine lines and they are designs within designs attention to the smallest detail is the speciality of this art mithila artists use various themes symbols and subjects from myths and folk tales or from daily life lotus leaves fish bumblebees peacocks trees elephants women men children gods and goddesses are all included to fill up these paintings there is hardly any shading in the mithila paintings the artist use soft flat tones to show roundness proportion and distance and sharp bold lines and curves to show force and feelings Kohabar a special complicated design that is a must at all wedding ceremonies 
Swapna. Where is it painted? On the floor, like Rangoli. Shashikala Devi. No, on the walls. In fact, a separate room is made for the bride and the bridegroom, which is called the Kohabar Kaghar, and this special design is painted on its walls. Swapna, in color? Shashikala Devi. Oh, yes, but mainly in red, and no black is used anywhere. Black is inauspicious, you see. Swapna, where do you get your clothes from? Shashikala Devi. Well, we make up our own. For red, we use plain sindoor mixed with milk. For yellow, we use haldi. If we want green, we grind fresh bean leaves and extract the juice. Swapna, why only bean leaves? All leaves are green, aren't they? Can't one use just any kind of green leaves? Shashikala Devi. Other leaves would not be of any use. I know because I have tried 